Wars, Patrick, good to see you both still alive. What are you still doing here? Did you see the man who was with me when I left Castle Black? The one who calls himself Godric? Yeah, we saw him running towards the campsite. He seems to have been involved in quite a fight. He gave a few orders and left soon after. How did you succeed in escaping without a scrape? You weren't attacked? Godric's men have been trying to kill all the brothers of the Night's Watch since we found the girl. We immediately sensed something was off, so we left quickly before they realized we were fleeing. They were too preoccupied with you, my brother. Seven hells. Those damned curs buggered us well. Lord Commander will be furious, no doubt. We've left furrows of bodies behind us. How many more do we have left to cut down? No idea. A pity. Well, we need to get to Castle Black, and we could use your help.
Dick, Bayon, it's time! What's the meaning of this? My apologies, brothers, but the offer was too good to refuse. The so-called Godric has a fat purse. And frankly, Moors, I've had enough of freezing my ass off on this bloody wall. That's all it takes? A handful of coins to turn your heads? Traitors! My piss is worth more than your honor. Damn them to hell! Why would they turn on us like that? The imposter corrupted them. They betrayed the Night's Watch, their own brothers. Unimaginable. I can only think of one thing that would cause all of this. Don't look at me that way. I know nothing of this man except that he's not who he claims to be, which does not bode well for the real Godric. We'll get to the bottom of this with the help of Mormont, as planned. We need to be twice as careful from now on. If some of your companions are traitors, there may be others. Perhaps. That's why we must reach the Lord Commander as soon as possible. I won't let the man responsible get away with this. It seems that our brothers died... ...rich. Those half... Wits. Gold is as useless on the wall as a suit of armor is at sea. Some filthy coward paid our brothers to turn their blades on us. Probably some Mongol impersonating Sir Donnelly.
There you are, Mors. Methinks that the Lord Commander will be pleased to see you again. He's been watching for your return for a while now. Nice little trophy you have there. I can keep it warm for you. Keep your thoughts to yourself, Grants. I was only trying to be of service. <laughs> Moors, we were expecting you. I see you've found what you're looking for. Isn't Sir Godric with you? No, Jor. That vermin tried to kill me. He's an imposter. What? Tell me. I need to know everything. Yes, and without Patrick's help, we might not have made it back alive. This man was carrying a letter signed by John Arryn himself. If we find out that he does indeed serve the King's hand... I believe the girl. John Arryn would never have allowed his men to attack a sworn brother. I hope you speak the truth, Mors. You said the imposter took flight. Do you know where he's gone? He managed to cover his tracks, but I don't believe that he left the area. He seemed desperate to get rid of the girl. He will not stop until she is dead. Or until we stop him. But that's not the worst of it. This filth paid some of our own brothers to attack us. What? I sent Theomar and two other men to the imposter's camp to ensure that no further misdeeds take place. I ran into them again on our return trip. That's when they attacked us. Apparently, our enemies had enough time to convince them to betray us as they guarded the camp. Now that explains it. We arrested some of his men as they tarried in Castle Black without permission. I intended to deliver them to the Lord, so that he could punish them himself. The incident appeared harmless, but now I fear it might be more serious than it seemed. We must sort this out. Bring the prisoners. We found out that your commander masqueraded as someone else so he could manipulate us and use the Night's Watch to further his own ends. A serious act, punishable by death. You are his accomplices, and will receive the same punishment. We had no idea, my lord. We're just soldiers. 